Here we are. All right, we're almost there. I think we're good. Right there. Is that good, everybody? Perfect. Awesome. Well, I'm Jordan Rubin. I am the co-founder and CEO of Ancient Nutrition. I became involved in the natural health movement due to my own severe illness. Over 22 years ago, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. I had symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, chronic fatigue. I had parasitic, fungal, bacterial, and viral infections. And I was down from a height of six foot, 185 pounds to 104 pounds in a wheelchair. Wow. I was traveling around the world trying to get well. Conventional medicine failed, natural medicine failed, and I was led to a diet and lifestyle based on the principles of ancient nutrition coming from the Bible, Amen. proven through history, Amen. confirmed by science, and I got well in 40 days at a program I would later call the Maker's Diet, started a company called Garden of Life, and spent the last over 20 years sharing a message of health and hope all over the world. And most recently, thank you. Oh, wow. And in the last year, I partnered with longtime friend, Dr. Josh Axe, to create Ancient Nutrition. We've also written some great books together, one of which is called Essential Oils, Ancient Medicine. Our brand new book is Keto 360, which you have an opportunity to get involved with, which we'll talk about as tonight continues. And together now, uh, Dr. Axe and I run the Ancient Nutrition Companies and DrAxe.com in Franklin, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. Yeah, so it's great to be here tonight, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, um, Jordan has an amazing story of how he healed. And for me, I was actually a crisis in my own family that got me involved in the natural health industry and eventually meeting Jordan and creating some of the products we have. And uh, uh, when I was young, like, my family was always into fitness. So my mom was my gym teacher in elementary school. She was a swim instructor, so always into fitness. Uh, but was diagnosed with cancer at 40, which is really just shocking to my family at the time. But we really knew nothing about nutrition. And so all of us had health problems growing up. You know, my mom thought, I remember growing up, my mom uh, said we were eating healthy when we were doing fried chicken and juicy juice, which contains like 10% juice. Uh, now, now Come on, it's 100% juice. It's just well, not, well, not maybe concentrate. Now. Maybe now. Uh, but anyways, you know, it was... Uh, so that, that, that was us growing up. But when my mom was diagnosed with cancer, our, you know, our family lived in that medical model. Anytime we were sick, we turned to medication. We just didn't know any better. So when my mom got that cancer diagnosis, she went and had a mastectomy and went through rounds and rounds and rounds of chemotherapy. And I can still remember this day, seeing her hair fall out. I remember her, you know, just almost dying several times. And I remember her after all the treatments, looking like she had aged 20 years in two weeks. And just saying to myself, man, I never want to see anyone have to go through that again. And praise God, she was diagnosed as being cancer-free and healthy. But the problem was, even after she was diagnosed as being cancer-free, really she seemed sicker than ever. My mom uh, continued, just had low energy all the time. She was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, hypothyroidism, clinical depression, got put on several medications, including an antidepressant. And she was just sick and tired all the time. And that went on for more than 10 years. And 10 years later, I was actually studying to become a doctor. And I got a call from her and she said, um, you know, Josh, I've got bad news. Um, she was in tears and just said, I, I've been diagnosed with cancer again. I don't know what to do. And I said, mom, I'll be home. I flew back from, uh, from Florida where I was going to school back to Ohio. And uh, we just prayed together and felt really led to take care of her all naturally. So my mom then embarked on a, a natural health journey. She started juicing vegetables every single day. She started consuming, you know, berries like blueberries. She started doing uh, chicken broth. She started doing essential oils like frankincense and myrrh and uh, herbs and superfoods like turmeric and reishi mushroom and doing other things as well, spending time in prayer and with, you know, seeing, uh, you know, getting lymphatic drainage massage and doing all those things. And we followed that natural health protocol for, for four months. We went back to the oncologist and got a call from, from them about four days later, or uh, just a couple days later, and they said, um, this is highly unusual, we haven't really seen this before, but your tumors have shrunk by more than half. And they said, we'll see you again in nine months, went back nine months later, almost complete remission today, it's been about 13 years since then, and my mom is in complete remission, in fact, she's in the best shape of her life. My, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. So, 
uh, my parents, uh, about four or, four or five years ago, retired from Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, down to, uh, to Auburndale, Florida, kind of around Lakeland, Orlando area. And they're just doing amazing. You know, they, they live on a lake there, water ski all the time. And my mom says she feels better now in her 60s than she did in her 30s, and just doing really well. But it was really that experience uh, that really got me into the natural health industry and caused me to practice the way that I practice. And Jordan and I both really feel strongly about this. But, you know, when we're talking about products and these foods, I mean, you know, when we're formulating products, these are the same things that, you know, we take ourselves. You know, we're, we're you know, I'm formulating for my wife and my mom and my family. Jordan's, you know, formulating for his six kids he has at home. And so for us, we just feel really passionate about uh, helping people uh, transform their health, uh, you know, using these amazing products and foods uh, there, there as well. Yes, I formulate products for myself with my six kids, anti-stress formulation. <laughs> so today we're going to share with you principles of ancient nutrition that we believe can make an immediate impact in your life. And I want to say this, many nutrients and beneficial compounds that are described as miracles are not exactly that. They're simply missing. And I'll give you an example. Vitamin D is often called a miracle. It's one of the top nutrients known to man, getting all kinds of great publicity over the last five to seven years. If you live in Philadelphia, and it's March 15th, coming out of three and a half months of tough, cold winter with gray skies, you're going to find that if you take vitamin D, it will have miraculous results because you have been deficient in vitamin D for the previous three and a half months. In Florida, typically, we're here now hoping to get some sunshine, but we haven't had a lot. If you live in Florida year round, close to the equator, the Caribbean, you don't get the same miraculous benefits from taking vitamin D supplements. Why? Because you have good levels of vitamin D. So when we talk about ancient nutrition, we're referring to compounds, foods, ingredients that our ancestors consumed consistently, regularly, that we are missing today. And we find a cause and effect of certain conditions and areas of our health that are suffering as a result. Missing nutrients, puzzle pieces that need to be inserted to solve the riddle of our health. And one such superfood is bone broth. We've recommended it, each of us, for our entire careers. Me, well over 20 years, Dr. Axe here over 10. Yes, I am older and potentially a little bit wiser, but not older. So I believe and have from the beginning that bone broth's amazing. My Jewish grandmother said that her bone broth or chicken soup was the best in the world and it could cure anything. An old African proverb says, good broth can raise the dead. I can't exactly vouch for that, but there was a strong belief from nutritionists, physicians, and we're talking about thousands of years of history, believing that when you can't tolerate anything, when you can't digest a single food, bone broth. We, hospitals know it because they serve you broth. Maybe it's not healthy broth anymore, but we have some historical knowledge that broth is great for our bodies. Not only is it tolerable, not only is it soothing, great for the gut, great for the skin, great for the connective tissue, ligaments, joints, and tendons, but it is absolutely missing from our diets. We are a brothless generation, the first ever. And other than chefs who know good broth is required for good food, we've all but lost that art. And despite my writing about bone broth in over 20 books, providing recipes, telling people to make it, telling people often that that's all they should consume is broth when they're compromised in their gut or their immune system, I found myself struggling to get it even one time a week. But a few years ago, I suffered from a knee injury and I learned about the power of broth. I learned how difficult it was to be consistent with it because when you're on crutches, it's kind of hard to make broth, and when your wife is homeschooling five children, it's a bad idea to ask. I already was having trouble with one leg, I didn't want her to swipe the other one. I found some frozen bone broth at a health food store, it worked great. I came to Florida to do some seminars, 
didn't have access to that broth for whatever reason, and I was able to find a concentrated extract or concentrated bone broth while working on a formula with Dr. Axe here for a nutritional supplement, I grabbed it before I took off for my 11 day, 12 seminar speaking tour where I'd be standing almost all day. I was able to take this powder, virtually tasteless powder, mix it in water. Not only did I feel good, but I felt like it was adding to my health. And after that tour, I had my team analyze this bone broth concentrate I knew there would be some chondroitin and glucosamine, maybe some hyaluronic acid, but I never dreamed it would come back 90% protein. And the idea of bone broth protein was born. And as soon as I understood what opportunity we had to take the largest supplement category proteins and find a way to create the most unique, beneficial supplement of all to allow everyone who we cared about, including us, to consume this powerful food every day. I called Dr. Axe here and I told him, said, Josh, I think we have an amazing discovery. What do you think about the very first bone broth protein? And he said, this is awesome. Or something to that extent. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was, uh, I, I was really excited. And the biggest reason was, you know, I... My lab, especially my last few years in practice, like I had so many patients with immune issues, gut issues, hormone issues, and I would have them do something called a bone broth cleanse or a bone broth fast, where I'd have them just drink bone broth for three days, and the results were amazing. And then after that three day, I'd have them do bone broth loading, where they would drink bone broth uh, for breakfast and lunch and then do a solid dinner, you know, like, uh, you know, organic meat, lots of veggies, but I had them do that for 30 days and the transformations were just amazing. And so, when, but here's the problem. For people to do it more than 30 days, you know, it was really hard. How many of you guys have ever made bone broth at home yourself? Okay. Now, how hard is it? Now, we all know, for the most part, we'll get into this more, but we should be getting this in our diet every day like our ancestors did. But even for myself, who's a health nut, I mean, you know, driving south to Franklin Farmer's Market, finding healthy, organic, or natural bones in, in parts, making it, and then while traveling, and then I feel like every time I made it, it was gone two days later. By the time I, I drank it, my wife drank it, you know, our dogs love it, so anytime I'm there in like Flash and Oak, they're like, you know, giving me a hard time about it. But, so I was really excited about this. I was excited for myself, for my family, for my patients, because I knew this was really the only way in, that people now were gonna have access to being able to drink bone broth every single day. You know, bone broth, it, it contains the nutrients, nutrients that we're just not getting anywhere else. Did you know that when you're consuming both animal meats as well as vegetables and grains, they have very similar proteins. They have what are called methionine, rich proteins, or branched-chain amino acids, which are good for building muscle, right? Okay, so whether you're eating beef or chicken, or eggs, or dairy, or fish, or grains, or beans and legumes, or nuts and seeds, they all have very similar nutrients that help build muscle. But they don't necessarily build collagen, and collagen is what makes up your bones, your discs, your skin, hair, and nails, your ligaments, your tendons, your fascia, and your connective tissue. It makes up all of that. And think about how true this is today. Do you think that we might have so many joint-related issues today because of the lack of collagen in our diet? If you don't have the building blocks for that area, what's going to happen in the area? Right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a problem. So think about how many athletes today are tearing muscles versus tearing their ACLs and their rotator cuff. Right? There's a lot more joint injuries today than there are muscle injuries. Or think about if somebody ages. We have, like, my, my, I actually just got to see my grandfather, he's 95 years old, and, uh, and he was with my parents there in Lakeland, Florida area, and uh, just he's such an awesome guy, great attitude, but if you ask him after two knee replacements, I asked him, Grandpa, do you have any muscle pain? No. Do you have any joint pain? He's like, just pretty much every joint, you know, for the most part when you're 95. Um, so, 
Again, can you guys see what I'm saying here? We've been supporting our muscles all these years and for most of our life. Most of us are not supporting these areas of our body. I'll give you an example of this through my own sister. Um, after we came out with our bone broth protein, I'm going to sh show you these here. You know, so bone broth protein, the amazing thing is it's just, it's bone broth. You know, you're getting highly concentrated bone broth, and Jordan will jump into the nutrients here in a minute. But I had my sister start taking bone broth. My sister had a thyroid issue, hypothyroidism, and um, had some thyroid problems. And because of that, she always had really thin hair. Okay, she had really thin hair. And, um, and she started taking this, and after just two weeks of taking it, she called me and she said, Josh, she said, I, I just went to my stylist, and she even commented that she felt like my hair had twice as much volume, and the only thing I changed was starting to drink the bone broth. She said, do you think that's what did it? I said, yeah, I know it. And, and she saw those results, that, that she saw amazing results in her hair, and then she did a program that I put her on where, this is something we have, Jordan and I have a lot of our, you know, patients and clients do, but we have to do what's called a collagen loading program, where they start doing three servings of bone broth a day. Well, she started doing that three servings a day, and she always ha had really brittle nails, like they were always, just. Always, she could never really grow her nails out because she up and have so many issues. Well, she just, she sent me a text message after doing it, and she said, look, for the first time ever, she was able to grow her nails out. They were very thick, very strong. And so it was amazing. So for me, I mean, this is this has been such an exciting product because of really what it's meant to myself, to my family, all the patients, again, with not being able to be complaining myself and others. And now people are able to get bone broth in their diet every day. And I'd love for Jordan to share like some of the nutrients that are in here and why it's so effective. Absolutely. So if you're somebody who is on a whole food or real food diet, if you're somebody who wants to support your gut, if you want to avoid allergens, gluten and dairy, if you're somebody who's trying to go grain free and you want a protein that isn't allergenic like whey or soy or egg, but you might not want to do pea or rice, this is bone broth protein. And bone broth protein is super versatile. So you're looking here, we've got savory flavors such as pure and turmeric. Check this out, zero grams of carbs, zero grams of sugar. Loaded with protein, easy to digest, and the best advice I can give you regarding protein is balance your sources. Josh mentioned hemp is actually very similar to whey. Pea is similar to egg. All of those proteins from plant or animal are similar. One of these proteins is not like the others, and that's bone broth protein. Now, if you make bone broth every day, fantastic. If you wanna buy frozen organic, I bought two bags a day to the tune of $10 each, 48 ounces, and if that's what I needed, I would absolutely do it. But we love the fact that bone broth protein can reach a brothless generation. And if you asked me, this whole group lined up, please don't, I'm not really offering this, but if you did, and asked me for advice, as oftentimes happens at the end of a seminar, Jordan, I have this, what do I take? Jordan, my son has that. My uncle's brother's sister's cousin's friend's business associate's partner has that. What would you recommend? I used to say this product and that product, and I would be very uh, specific, and there'd be a multitude of choices. But once bone broth protein came to be, I found myself sounding like a broken record. Bone broth, bone broth, bone broth, bone broth, bone broth, bone broth. It's universal. It's so simple, we can even take the pure and turmeric and mix it in the cook, cooking water for grains like rice or quinoa, and the grains suck up the bone broth protein. Imagine serving organic brown rice pilaf with 20 grams of protein per serving. And it's not just any protein, it's soluble nutrition, much like raw juices, teas and herbal infusions. It's in solution super digestible, unlike anything you've had, and Dr. Axe referred to a collagen loading program. Bone broth protein has naturally occurring type two collagen, like some supplements, except five times the amount. Bone broth protein has naturally occurring chondroitin sulfate, but about twice as much as the supplements naturally occurring. It has chondroitin, excuse me, glucosamine, and hyaluronic acid, which People inject hyaluronic acid into their knees, they put it in creams on their face. 
internal, external, here's the challenge. Three servings a day of bone broth protein for three weeks. And instead of taking a before and after in a bikini, just take a picture of your face. What kind of protein can help support skin, hair, and nails? This can. So I want to challenge everybody here, no matter what stage of life you're in, athlete, stay-at-home mom, executive, or child, bone broth protein is for you. We've got powders, we've got capsules. You'll see we've got bone broth protein pre-workouts and organic. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let Dr. Axe tell you the easiest ways to get three servings a day of bone broth protein because I do believe, folks, and we believe in this strongly enough that we want to share this information with everybody. We believe that everybody needs this, everybody can benefit, but some people get intimidated on how to incorporate this powerful superfood into each meal and snack that you consume. Yeah, I'm gonna share with you how we get into our diet every day. I did want to mention one other thing though from an advanced nutritional perspective. You know, the thing about this, all of us today know that we need a balance of omega-3 fats and omega-6 fats in our diet right now, right? I mean, most of you guys know we need more omega-3 fats on average. Well, and I'm really conscious of that when I'm eating, you know, you, you, we want to keep, we want to make sure we have plenty of omega-3s. Well, just like, yeah, and, but let me say 20 years ago, do you know nobody really knew that? I mean, almost nobody knew that we had to have these omega-3 fats in our diet. Almost, no, almost nobody had heard of an omega-3 fat. Today, um, everybody knows. Well, we're gonna see here over the next five years and 10 years, you guys are hearing it probably very early on here, early adopters in this group, but when you look at what we were talking about, these muscle building proteins and collagen building proteins, it's probably like 100 to one, where it should be closer to a four to one or a one to one ratio, very similar to omega-3 fats. And so again, we wanna be really conscious of when you're eating different types of protein and all these other foods, you need to balance it out with these collagen building proteins there as well. So again, uh, we know that, uh, again, I'm, and I'm just conscious of that, and I typically am getting between two and five servings of collagen a day. Now, here's how we get this in our diet for myself. You know, when we're doing the pure and turmeric, for the most part with those, you know, we love mixing them in rice, in uh, grains like quinoa. I actually add those as well to things like guacamole and hummus, um, pasta sauce. You know, you can add those to almost any recipe. And it's just very light. It's like a very light broth flavor, so it just mixes in very well. You know, to a lot of recipes, it just gives it a more rich flavor. In fact, when we're making turkey meatballs and that type of thing, you know, we'll add broth to that as well. And this turmeric is awesome, by the way. We have our bone broth protein turmeric has 3,000 milligrams per serving of certified organic turmeric. So talk about amazing for your joint just overall health, that blend of the bone broth protein turmeric. You know, and the other thing with the turmeric and the uh, pure, this is what we'll give to our dogs, okay? So our dogs now absolutely go berserk over this. They love it uh, at home. So we'll both give them about a half a scoop each a day. Um, my dog's Oakley and Flash. And then the chocolate, you know, there's so many things you can do then with that. If you just put it in almond milk and, uh, you know, and uh, warm almond milk, it tastes like hot chocolate. That's very good. I'll do it with some frozen cherries and doing a chocolate cherry shake. So typically just doing some coconut or almond milk with bone broth protein, any flavor, or chocolate, for instance, and maybe a little bit of fruit. That's pretty much what I do for breakfast every single day. Our vanilla flavor is excellent. Mixing that with a little bit of coconut milk and uh, bananas and strawberries. You got a strawberry banana smoothie there. The coffee flavor is great, especially mixing that with the chocolate. It's a mocha flavor, banana cream, uh, cinnamon apple, and then our greens. But that's one of the biggest things. We've had such good reviews from people saying that, uh, you know, just really surprising just how great these taste. And one last thing I want to say about bone broth, I'm going to agree with Jordan here. You know, when we have, we, I've recommended a lot of products over the years. And, you know, how many of you guys have taken supplements before and not really noticed a difference, though? Like, you've taken something, you're like, I didn't really notice any change in my body here. More than any other supplement slash food, I've recommended when people start using bone broth and taking bone broth protein, they'll say things like, I've never noticed such a big difference in a short period of time, whether it's three days or two weeks. 
people really notice the difference. Because what Jordan started off saying, people just aren't getting it in our diet, and it's so important for all of these different areas of their body. Absolutely, and there's a bone broth protein for everybody, and if you don't want to take the 10 seconds to make a shake in a blender bottle, we even have capsules, multiple forms. Key is, folks, make bone broth. There's great recipes on DrAxe.com. Buy some ready-to-drink bone broth, or the simple way that's allowed myself and Dr. Axe to consume two to six servings of bone broth every day for now two solid years. That's more bone broth than I've consumed in the entire 40 years prior of my life. And it doesn't start to work and fade. I actually think you improve as your collagen slowly becomes supported, as your gut gets sealed, really, really awesome. We introduced certified organic bone broth protein with a whole new plethora of flavors. I love nitro beet, not only because beets are awesome, but because I named that one. Josh <laughs> loves peanut butter, and he named that one. Real innovative. I will say this. I, I don't know what our best seller is in this line, but my guess is that peanut butter is pretty high up on that list. <laughs> It is. It's, 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 there's something to be said for simple names. You know what? The, the peanut butter, doing the peanut butter and chocolate together is the ultimate. It is the ultimate. It is. You can tell Josh is a mixer. He likes to combine things. All right. Collagen found. Missing nutrients from our modern diet. So we talked a little bit about collagen. This is really critical, folks. The high-protein diet is dead. The last 10, 15 years, starting with bodybuilders, there were information and, and conditioned people to consume 100, 200, 300 grams of protein a day from dairy, egg, and meat, or rice, pea, etc. High muscle building protein diets actually burden the body. However, as Dr. Axe mentioned, you can bring balance to that protein intake by consuming sources of collagen. Broth is a great source of collagen, particularly type two, but our working relationship really came to be when we set out to create what you'd call the ultimate collagen solution. Now think about it, vitamin C is amazing, right? Vitamin D is great, we talked about it. Vitamin K, vitamin B1 is actually the very first vitamin ever discovered called thiamine. However, most individuals choose to take a multivitamin. There are actually multiple sources of collagen. The most important dietary sources, type 1, 2, 3, 5, and 10. And we decided to work together over a year ago to create the very first formulation that gave you all the collagens in one. We call it multi-collagen protein. And while bone broth protein has amazing sources of collagen and nutrients, if you want something that's virtually tasteless, easy to mix, and straight up collagen, I believe multi-collagen protein is head and shoulders above the rest. Yeah, so with multi-collagen protein, this is, um, this, is, this is a really unique formulation. And when you're going out and if you're buying any other brand of collagen, the unfortunate truth is it only has bovine collagen type 1 and 3. It doesn't have type 2 collagen, which really for the people I work with is the most important type of collagen, along with 5 and 10. And so we sourced five different types of collagen from five different sources. Uh, chicken, turkey, fish, eggshell membrane, and cattle. And we took all of those different sources of powerful collagen and combined them into one um, one supplement here. And I want to say this, so type, I mentioned this earlier, type 1 and 3 collagen are what makes up your skin, hair, nails, bones, and discs. That's type 1 and 3. Type 2 collagen makes up your gut lining, which is a big part of your immune system, and your and your ligaments, your tendons, your connective tissue. You know, growing up, my, uh, my mom uh, always gave me chicken noodle soup, and ginger ale when I was sick. You guys heard, you know, that's really common, right? Um, here's the unfortunate thing. Like, I literally, just about a year ago, I went and looked up. I remember she gave me, look, I'm not going to say the brand, but you all know it. But I went back and looked at the brand of what she gave me. 
And I started, I, I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what, this contains uh, MSG, like a deathly amount of sodium, and white flour noodles, and added sugar, and the chicken soup, and then I was like pounding ginger ales when I was sick, and I'm like, two, you know, who knows how many grams of sugar. I told my mom recently, I saw her, I said, Mom, if you just didn't give me so much love when I was sick, I'd probably be dead because of what you fed me. <laughs> and I was like, you know, my mom got that idea from broth, right? From, from, or my mom got that idea from uh, my grandma, who made real chicken soup and gave me and gave ginger herbal tea, right? That's where she got it. But one of the reasons I wanted to say that is, you know, when you hear somebody is sick, they always get it's not beef broth, right? It's chicken, right? It's chicken soup is good for your immune. You always hear that for your immunity, and that's the other thing. That's the problem with all these other collagen supplements out there. None of them have chicken collagen. All of them just have beef, and it's the most important type of collagen we have to be getting in our diet. So I would say chicken and fish collagen are the most powerful forms of collagen, and we found the best quality collagen in the world of both chicken and fish, put them in this powder, and the great thing about this powder is it's tasteless. A lot of people just add a scoop to their coffee, they can add it to a smoothie. And my general health protocol is every morning doing a smoothie. I you know, did that this morning. And I do one scoop of bone broth protein and one scoop of the multi-collagen. You can even add it to water. We've got single serving packs. We've got a canister. And our capsules are really great as well. Folks, bottom line, we need to flip the switch, turn the tables, go from consuming all these protein powders that we're used to, and start getting these missing nutrients. The term supplement should be applied to something that we can't get easily in our diet. Everyone here has access to dairy, whether you want to eat it or drink dairy or not. You can all get eggs. You can all get meat. You can get hemp seeds, peas, and rice easily. But what we refuse to make is what we may need the most. Bone broth protein, multi-collagen protein, these are great tools to balance out years and years of imbalance. And again, in a few short weeks, you will see the areas of your body that you count on to hold you together, quite literally, the glue that holds you together. Even your bones are made of a greater percentage of collagen than they are of calcium and other minerals. This is really, really powerful. In addition to proteins, both Dr. Axe and I are huge fans of essential oils. The power of plants distilled into tiny drops. In 2008, I went on a massive six week detox that included every day, a two to three hour essential oil massage. I diffused oils. In my house right now, I put three, actually six diffusers and I am consistently making sure that we are inhaling the power of plants through essential oils. I will put oils topically on my body, I consume them in beverages, and together, Dr. Axe and I wrote what we believe to be a definitive guide on essential oils called Essential Oils Ancient Medicine. 510 page book that helps you utilize these powerful tools that you undoubtedly have heard of that are becoming rock stars in nutrition. And the Dr. Axe audience online, millions strong, absolutely loves essential oils because Dr. Josh Axe believes they're indispensable to your health. Yeah, you know, essential oils really are incredible. I mean, just to give an example, uh, historically, they're referenced more than 300 times in the Bible. Essential oils are referenced from frankincense to myrrh to spikenard to oregano and many others. So, so they're referenced throughout there. You know, they're, they're referenced and used in traditional Chinese herbalism, Ayurveda. So they are a powerful form of plant-based therapy that I wish more people would use. Now, I'll tell you, more and more people are being turned on to the power of essential oils. But there's some, and, and some important things to know when using essential oils. And I'll get into some individuals here in just a minute, the oils that we use most frequently. But when you're buying essential oils, it is really, really important that you are buying uh, from a brand that is organic and follows high standards. You know, plants in general are, most, most of them are highly sprayed with pesticides. And when you spray a plant with pesticides, 
either it's not producing enough of a certain compound because it doesn't need to, or it's overutilizing some of its own compounds to protect itself. You know, there's something called companion planting, and when you plant, let's say an oregano or a thyme or a, a parsley plant next to a tomato plant, they actually give off essential oils that kill off the bugs that would typically kill a tomato plant. So we know that when you are taking an essential oil, you are harnessing and utilizing the therapeutic properties that are found in that plant. And I'll give you an example of how this works too. You know, women have been using perfumes and fragrances for thousands of years to attract men, okay? And I mean that seriously though, they have. But why, why did they choose that? Why did they choose flowers? Just because they smell good? No, because flowers give off essential oils that actually attract bees. They have attractive properties that help bees for the pollination process, but it's a similar thing. You know, oregano and some of these herbs that have anti you know, properties that kill off bugs, um, they actually give off those oils to protect themselves from bugs. And so again, when you're using essential oil, you're harnessing the power of that plant, which is really amazing. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite essential oils here as well. Yeah, well, I uh, remember in the last Nutrition Smart seminar we did, your, your way of thinking got me uh, really exploring our follow-up book. It will be a combination sort of uh, middle school sex education and modern online dating site, essential oils, birds, bees, flowers, trees. It's just Good. easier Good. that way. I like that. All right, so let me talk about some of my favorite essential oils here. Well, before um, he does, yeah, yeah. so we believe that when it comes to oils, because the plants produce these fatty compounds or liposoluble compounds, they store in the body beneficial or non-beneficial. So if you're spraying something and you're consuming the fat, it is more likely to be stored. Fat-soluble toxins are a big challenge. So we decided that we were going to find a certified organic essential oil brand, completely organic, period. In addition, we believe that oils are the fatty acid extracted compounds in, in plants should be consumed as well as used topically. And when we couldn't find such a line, we worked together to create Ancient Apothecary. And I'm gonna let Dr. Axe talk to you about our favorites, but Ancient Apothecary is the first and only completely certified organic essential oil brand. We will not use any oils that are organic, so therefore some we will inevitably have to leave out. But some of the oils that we've introduced have never been available in health food stores before, and we believe them to be some of the most powerful plant-based compounds on the planet. And when Dr. Axe is done explaining his favorites, I'll tell you a couple of really cool recipes of how you can get the most amazing energy and vitality from just one drink in the morning. So, you know, we, we have really high standards when we put this, this oil line together. And Jordan and I, and you, you, you guys may uh, or may not recognize this, but Jordan and I, when we're putting a product line together, we don't do it unless it can be the best in the world. So honestly, if we couldn't have, if we couldn't have sourced the best essential oils in the world, the best bone broth protein, the best herbs in the world, we wouldn't have done the line, but we really knew we could. And so with this line, again, every oil is certified organic. Also, every oil we look to source indigenously, meaning it grows naturally wild in that area. For instance, we didn't try and force lavender to grow in Florida. We harvest it from the province of France, okay? So that's where we get our lavender. You know, we get our, a lot of our citrus from Sicily and Italy. And so we source it indigenously. And this is really important to have the high therapeutic value. Also, every essential oil you notice, when you pick up one of the bottles and flip it over, everyone is labeled as a dietary supplement there as well. You know, many of these oils are great for internal use and one serving, it says 60 milligrams is the equivalent to two to three drops of an essential oil. By the way, as we go along tonight, you know, oftentimes, I know uh, sometimes people have questions. We're gonna cover a lot of different superfoods, herbs and supplements tonight. What I would do if you're taking notes tonight, start making notes down on what you think your top five or your top 10 are, because a lot of times people will forget. So again, as we go, because we got a lot more we're gonna cover and you'll see. So uh, we'll get into that from our mushrooms to a lot of different herbs too. So some of my favorites, I love frankincense. You know, I kind of say when in doubt frankincense. 
Frankincense, as a standalone, is the most referenced essential oil in the Bible. And it's typically known to help balance out the body. It may uh, also has the potential to support the immune system. I'll, I'll oftentimes use frankincense or diffuse it next to me when I'm just sort of praying in the morning or looking to support uh, my brain. But this is a unique, it's called frankincense trinity. We source three different types of frankincense from Oman, from Samiland, and from India. And so this is a really powerful frankincense formula. We also have peppermint oil here. We also have a digestive blend that has peppermint and ginger our ginger is very, very potent, uh, great for supporting your digestion, so I love that one. Clary sage is great for hormones. So if you're a woman looking to support your hormones, clary sage is very powerful. We also have a hormone blend for women. And if you're a male, we also have fenugreek, which has really powerful properties, especially known in Ayurveda, um, for, for, supporting, um, for supporting the body. Rosemary is great for naturally supporting the volume of your hair. If you really want to transform your hair, take about a teaspoon of olive oil, 10 to 15 drops of rosemary oil, rub it in your scalp, leave it there for an hour or two, and it has great benefits for enhancing your hair. Um, we got lots of other great oils here. I know holy basil and turmeric are two of our favorites. I'll have Jordan talk about the holy basil in a minute. You know, our turmeric oil contains curcumin and turmeric. You know curcumin has really great benefits for supporting healthy levels of inflammation within the body, as well as contains tumorone. And tumorone is a, is a compound in turmeric that a lot of people haven't heard of yet, but has been shown to naturally support the nervous system and may also support stem cells. If you know anything about stem cells, they are really powerful. This turmeric oil contains those tumorones that support that in the body. Absolutely. And we believe that certain oils absolutely need to be made available. We have a powerful black human oil, and as Josh mentioned, the first ever holy basil essential oil available in America. We bought an entire field on a farm of holy basil to do it, and that is a phenomenal oil that is an adaptogen for men and women. Turmeric, I use loads of that, not topically because it would be a little messy, but internally, I believe our turmeric essential oil, certified organic, might be in the top five most powerful substances available today in health food stores. I promised I'd give you my quick morning drink. I just started drinking coffee nine months ago. Prior to that, I'd had two cups my entire life. So we're working on a coffee project and I always have to be a guinea pig or I don't know, a Windsor rat. I don't know, whatever it is. Whatever they do experiments on, that's me. So I make French pressed organic coffee and I put some fat in it. So I put ghee or coconut oil or butter, etc. Then I add essential oils. I add 20 drops of our turmeric. I didn't say it tastes good, I said it was good for you. <laughs> Actually, the turmeric tastes kind of mild. Five drops of our ginger, which will blow your doors off, just amazing. We also, then I'll add a couple drops of cinnamon oil, which tastes as sweet as sugar. I'll add two drops of holy basil and two drops of black pepper. That's my morning mud, and it energizes me big time. My son works out. We work out two to three hours in the morning. I take a combination of peppermint, holy basil, and black pepper, and I rub it on his knees and his shoulders. Really, really phenomenal. We do a lot of exercise, and it provides that warm and cool sensation. There's not a meal, there's not a day that I'm not using one of these oils. And for me, having the entire collection is absolutely critical. It's like the key to my herbal cabinet, so to speak. Yeah, you know, I wrote a book uh, years ago called The um, uh, King's Medicine Cabinet. It kind of posed a question, what would a king have had in their herbal or their natural cabinet when they were not feeling well. And they probably, you know, if you think about King Solomon or King David, they, they didn't have pharmaceuticals. They would have opened that cabinet. There would have been herbs and essential oils in there to support their body that they used every single day. One of the biggest benefits of essential oils is replacing the toxins in your home, whether it's your personal care products or cleaning products. My wife Chelsea and I, you know, we do a blend of, uh, actually we use our ancient fortress, it's an immune blend, but it also is great for cleaning the house. We'll also do things like tea tree oil and lemon to spray down our shower or appliances or countertops. 
um, there as well. My wife uses that geranium rose along with lavender. She adds it to her moisturizer and uses it in her skincare routine uh, there as well. So again, there's a lot of great, great oils here to add into your cabinet uh, and to use on a, uh, on a regular basis. Absolutely. We also have a diffuser for the home and one for the car. All right, I want to talk about the power of herbs and spices. We believe in plant foods. Now, while we are both conscious omnivores, the power of plants is undeniable. People will ask me, Jordan, how would you rank the foods in the plant kingdom by uh, benefits? Number one, I'll say fruits are good. I typically like the darker color, less sweet fruits. Think berries, think pomegranate. I love exotic fruits. Very powerful. The other day I got red currants from the health food store. They were amazing. You look at berries, they pack a wallop. So fruits are good. Veggies are great. Veggies are a powerful source of minerals and we're highly deficient in minerals. Number three, herbs are awesome. Herbs are the leafy portion of plants. Herbs like parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, if you're a Simon and Garfunkel fan, they're amazing. It's funny, the older I get, the less relevant my choices of music. <laughs> I mean, look, time heals all wounds. Oh. <laughs> and I got one more for you. For Thanksgiving recently, I was making stuffing, and I accidentally got some spices on my uh, on parts of my body, but I had, you know, uh, what well, didn't have much to do, so I realized I had too much time on my hands. <laughs> well, look, generally, actually, did you have a good time doing it? Yes. <laughs> Come on, oh, that, that killed last time. <laughs> Herbs are amazing. The percentage of antioxidants that you'll find in basil, sage is absolutely powerful, oregano, mints, absolutely amazing. A field of lavender can be uh, enjoyed for miles. So herbs are awesome. Spices are the bomb, quite literally. I believe that we are severely underspiced in America. If I were to give you one recommendation to go home and do is open up your cabinet and start using what's in there. Your spice rack shouldn't be relegated to once a month when you have guests over. We consume less spices per capita than I believe any nation in the world. We make up for it with hygiene, but that's not enough. We're talking about turmeric and ginger, clove. We're talking about allspice and nutmeg. These are all truly amazing. Cumin is amazing. Spices rock. We need to consume more of them fresh and dry, but because not everyone will do this, we created some tools for you. Yeah, you know, when you, uh, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine who's a, he's a, a, a uh, an herbalist and an acupuncturist in Nashville, and we were talking about this, and he's from, and he's from Israel, but we were talking about, you know, when you go into the market in the Middle East, in Israel, or into Asia, you smell things, right? I mean, it's like fresh herbs and food. I mean, you're smelling a lot. And, but when you go into a store in the U.S., you smell nothing, or maybe bleach, right? It's like, it smells like nothing. He said the same thing, you walk into a home in the Middle East or in Asia, a lot of times you're, you know, the home smells a lot of times like herbs and spices or essential oil, like those things when you walk into one of the homes. And in here, typically, it's nothing. You know, I read a book called The Okinawan Diet, and they really did some in-depth studies. And one of the things they found is that an American, uh, someone in America compared to somebody in Japan, Japan has the longest lifespan in the world, the most centurions, they found that we have, we have one-eighth of the antioxidant con consumption that they do. One-eighth. So we're not getting near enough herbs and spices in our diet because what Jordan just said here, herbs and spices are the top things that we can be consuming to support our body's overall health. Number one thing we can be eating on a daily basis for the most part. So Jordan and I came up with this line of herbs and superfoods that we knew that people need to be getting on a regular basis in their diet. One of our favorites here is turmeric. And we also followed these ancient principles of ancient tra or traditional Chinese herbalism and Ayurveda. And so how many of you guys have heard of the, uh, the recipe for turmeric golden tea or turmeric golden milk? A lot of you guys, right? That was a very strategic recipe. They knew that when you combine certain herbs together, they were more synergistic. It actually had a greater effect on the body. 
And so that recipe is very strategic. It's turmeric, warming spices like long pepper, black pepper, ginger, and then a fat like deer coconut. It was the blend of those three things, always in a true golden tea, turmeric golden tea recipe. Well, why do those, how do those things work together? Well, first off, did you know if you consume turmeric by itself, you absorb very little of it? It doesn't actually get into your bloodstream. And that's why in Arabetic, they actually had you add in black pepper or long pepper or ginger because warming spices open up your capillaries and your arteries, allowing this to get into your bloodstream. More bioavailable, get it throughout your entire system. And then we know that every cell in your body has a lipid bilayer and it's made up of fat. So for you to absorb a lot of vitamins and nutrients in your body, you've got to have fat. So that was why, but they didn't even know that. They just worked with enough people. Think about our our medical system today has been proven by like less than a hundred years of research that's actually funded, self-funded. So it's like it, it's crazy to think about. But Ayurveda, traditional Chinese herbalism, they're between three thousand to five thousand years old of looking at millions of individual case studies. It is so proven what our ancestors did and how it works. And so Jordan and I follow these ancient principles when it came to this line. Number one. This turmeric is certified organic, best quality turmeric in the world, and then we fermented it. When you ferment something, it creates completely new compounds. So not only is there just one type of curcuminoids, now there are multiple types, there's more than one. Also, in this turmeric, we added in that warming spice. We added in long pepper and black pepper and ginger. We also added in a bitter herb blend. Bitter herbs were known by Greek physicians to support the liver and gallbladder and actually really have therapeutic uh, effects on the body. So we also added in milk, thistle, dandelion, and other bitter herbs. And then once we took all these ingredients together, we then actually soaked them in turmeric essential oil. And so that's our turmeric line. And we did this with every single product. You know, a lot of times when you're buying these supplements today, they don't follow those ancient principles adding in the other synergistic herbs so they're not effective in the body like they should be. So we have elderberry, which is amazing for the immune system, cinnamon, which is amazing at supporting healthy normal level of levels of blood sugar. We have oregano, which is great for fighting bugs and microbial balance. Fermented and ashwagandha, this is the number one thing, ashwagandha, that I recommended to my patients who wanted help with their thyroid. Okay, so number one thing for thyroid, ashwagandha, and holy basil is known as an adaptogen. Adaptogens help your body better adapt and deal with stressors. So holy basil, also known as Tulsi and Ayurveda. And so this is our, uh, you know, six in the line, we believe are really, uh, you know, re really powerful. Absolutely, herbs and spices rock, consume more. I make herbal infusions every day. I take one of those tea, pots that you can put on top of a mug and the tea comes out. So I'll put fresh herbs and spices or dry. The night before, I will put boiling water, let them soak all night, and that's what I consume and give to my kids first thing in the morning prior to our bone broth smoothies. You've got to get more herbs and spices, buy them fresh, put them in salads, relearn how to cook the ancient way, use dried herbs, use flaked herbs, and if you don't, Make sure to consume ancient apothecary er, fermented herbs. Now, folks, I'm going to give you a fifth grade biology recap. How many of you know how many biological kingdoms have been identified on the planet? Raise your hand or put your hand up. You know what a kingdom is? Okay. Now, I knew that there was an animal kingdom where animals, some act more like it than others. There's a plant kingdom. But growing up, didn't you think mushrooms were a plant? Be honest, didn't you think they're vegetables like carrots, tomatoes, and mushrooms? Of course, there's a lot of dispute between what's a fruit and a vegetable anyway. My kids love to say, well, tomatoes are fruit, Dad, and cucumbers are fruit. The top of broccoli is a fruit, but the bottom's a vegetable. Anyway, who knows what it is? But we know that plants are a kingdom. There's another kingdom called bacteria, one called archaea, and one called protist. But the kingdom that I believe we've neglected the most is fungi. Fungi, some of which are known as mushrooms, has been misunderstood by Americans. But every culture in the world, from China to Japan to Korea, 
even native North Americans, Eastern and Western Europeans, South Americans, have one or more mushrooms that they have written about, painted about, and believe they're amazing. In China, reishi mushroom is known as the mushroom of immortality or the supernatural mushroom. Cordyceps, which is a fungi that parasitizes insects, was so prized that emperors, by law, would disallow any one who was not royalty to consume it. Folks, these mushrooms have been used for thousands of years in cooking, in herbal infusions and teas, and in supplement form, but we have all but forgotten this art. So just like herbs and spices, if you find dried mushrooms, some are culinary. Think shiitake, that's a powerful immune boosting mushroom. Turkey tail here in North America, amazing. Also happens to be the number one studied ingredient in all of natural health. Lion's mane is great for the brain. Folks, there are dried mushrooms that you can use in a culinary fashion right inside Nutrition Smart. But, you probably guessed it, we believe so strongly in mushrooms, not only do we have great products, but we have an indoor organic mushroom farm where we have created a phenomenal process to make these powerful ingredients come to life. So, um, as Jordan was talking, it's still like, you know, I mean, my mushrooms, even talked to me earlier, you know, a lot of you guys know my mom's story that I shared. You know, she took mushrooms as well, because one of the things she did to support her health. And just to talk about a few here, you know, fermented chaga is a great natural antioxidant. You know, a lot of times today in Russia, they'll do actually a chaga, uh, chaga broth or chaga tea on a daily basis. So that's an amazing antioxidant support. Probably maybe one of the most unique mushrooms in the entire world is lion's mane mushroom. Lion's mane is known to support the gut-brain connection. And it actually supports something in the body called uh, the nervine growth factor. So it's very, very powerful at supporting the entire brain, nervous system, and cognitive function. So when I have patients or anybody that really needs to support the brain, nerve system, this is what I put them on, uh, along with a ketogenic diet. Uh, fermented cordyceps are great for uh, performance and energy. Fermented reishi is great for overall long, longevity and, re and energy. By the way, if you look at a reishi mushroom, it looks identical to a kidney. If you just go online and do a Google search for reishi, it looks just like a kidney. And in traditional Chinese herbalism, when you consumed a food that looked like a body part, they knew that it supported that body part. Cut a carrot in half, looks like an eye, right? That type of thing. Cauliflower looks like your, your, your lungs. And so fermented reishi, uh, fantastic for sort of supporting the body overall, and turkey tail, an amazing, uh, an amazing remedy for the immune system. Absolutely, so get more mushrooms in your diet. There is more scientific research on this kingdom than any other. So just for fun, look up on PubMed or NCBI, I know that's not fun for everybody, but look up the benefits of reishi, the benefits of cordyceps benefits of lion's mane, you will be so surprised that you have gone this long without discovering what most other cultures on the planet realized, and we have not gotten it. All right, here's something I want to ask you. How many in this room, and you can be honest, would like to, in 2018, have better brain health, improve your metabolism, and boost your energy levels? Raise your hand. Don't point to the person next to you, just raise your hand. Yeah, she could use a real brain tune-up, that's for sure. Already forgot where I parked in the car. <laughs> Folks, have you ever seen statues of old um, individuals, old was the wrong term, of ancient individuals, that's even better. Like the David, for example. Statues of the David or gladiators. All of these old paintings and works of art showed these individuals, bottom line, they had six packs. I mean, these people were in great shape. Why? Because their bodies were able to run not only on glucose or sugar, like most Americans run on, and there's a constant supply, but they ran on an alternate fuel source fat that generated certain compounds called ketones. 
Keto is an ancient eating principle and a true modern miracle. About 100 years ago, a doctor was amazed at research he found with water fasting. How many of you know that foods, herbs, and supplements don't heal the body? The body was created to regenerate. If you cut yourself, new skin appears, right? If you break a bone, the bone fibers fuse together. And you don't have to do anything, right? You put a Band-Aid on a clean wound, and it just miraculously heals. Our liver can regenerate if 90% of it is removed, it can regenerate. How amazing is that? So the design is there. However, we don't know how to get out of the way. Fasting does that. Water fasting produced such great results in the mind and body of adults and children that it became the number one treatment for everything, except for one problem. You can only fast or avoid eating food for so long. Some people believe it could be as long as 70 days, probably not anymore, 40 potentially. Most of us can't go a meal without eating, <laughs> right? Three hours. There was a doctor who was able to find a ratio of nutrients that mimicked the results of fasting, but could be sustainable for a long term. And it was called a ketogenic diet. And you may have heard of it because now celebrities are doing it, superstar athletes are doing it, the fat is fuel movement has kicked into high gear, and Dr. Axe and I decided to create what we believe to be the most effective health and fitness program to boost your brain, your metabolism, and your energy, and so much more in just 30 days, and we call it Keto 360. And I believe that everyone here who signed up via Eventbrite with your email address will get a free Keto 360 downloadable program which will give you everything you need to know for 30 days. We've started a nationwide Keto 360 program. We are on day four today and in three clinics in Michigan who tested out this program, the results were amazing. And here's the best part. How many of you women get frustrated when you and your husband go on a diet and he loses three times the weight as you do. We were surprised pleasantly to see that the Keto 360 program in a clinical setting had nearly equal weight loss between genders, which is the first time I've ever seen it. Absolutely amazing, but what's more, it allows individuals to completely shift your fuel source. It's much like we are wanting to move towards hybrids or electric cars. Imagine a clean burning fuel source that liberates your brain, your metabolism, and your energy. And frankly, the ketogenic diet, or rather the body's production of ketones, is something that we have always done throughout history. When food was more scarce, we ate less frequently and we were able to run clean and consistent. I don't know about you, but when I eat a heavy meal, I can't stay awake, I can't focus. In school, every class I had after lunch, I fell asleep. Every class I had before lunch, I was alert. And you can be too. So Keto 360 is brand new. It's a diet, it's an exercise program, it's a lifestyle, and it's the first comprehensive holistic eating plan that is amazing for the entire family. You know, I, I got turned on to a ketogenic diet when I, uh, early on in practice, um, and by the way, when I was a kid, I was the kid my entire life who, I was diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, couldn't focus in school, and it wasn't until I really made significant dietary changes later on in life where I went from getting really bad grades when I was younger to in college and grad school and becoming a doctor, I started getting great grades. And again, it was a really dietary shift when I started adding more of these healthy fats into my diet. So when I got into practice and started learning about this diet, I was working with a large group of children who were having some learning issues. And I would get gluten out of their diet, casein out of their diet, and put them on a ketogenic diet. And the results were incredible. I remember a mom coming up to me and just telling me that she had her son, Ben, who, uh, 
could only speak four words, and after putting him on this diet for a couple weeks, he was speaking closer to four, 40 words in full sentences, and it made that big of a difference in his life. So again, for us, I feel really passionately and strongly about all the benefits of the ketogenic diet because I saw what a great impact it made on the patients I took care of, and really being able to take your body and switch it from what I'd call a sugar burner to a fat burning burner has great benefits. And especially if somebody is looking to benefit their brain and neurological health, their metabolism, their hormones, their natural energy levels, this is really the most powerful diet on the planet. In fact, I call it the breakthrough diet or the diet that works when nothing else will. And I think for a ketogenic diet, I don't think it's a diet where you should live in ketosis every day for the rest of your life. But I think if you do a 30-day ketogenic diet and then move into more what we call keto cycling where, hey, some days you eat keto maybe every other day and then some days you get those carbs in your diet, but it brings your body back into balance closer to what your ancestors would. And I can tell you, my own wife, Chelsea, who's a doctor, she did the ketogenic diet back in May and she didn't really have any weight she needed to lose, but she did that and then she started doing this keto cycling where she did alternated these keto days and then carb days. And since then she's lost 12 pounds, but she didn't need to. Again, I tell her that all the time, okay? <laughs> but, um, I mean, she looks great, she feels great. She told me, she said her hormones were way better than most women, but she said now they're perfect. I mean, it would, I'm not gonna get into too many details, but her hormones are great now. And uh, thank you, yes, her hormones are great. And so she's a big believer here as well in going through the program. And in fact, you can follow her if you look at, we have a, uh, if you follow her Instagram, it's Dr. Chelsea Axe. Uh, she goes through her skincare routine and uh, her workouts and diet and everything she does on a daily basis. And by the way, our dogs are keto uh, as well. And so um, actually their food is just wild caught fish and vegetables and uh, bone broth. So that's, so of course they're keto, but. They're pretty, they're, they're, you know, they're pretty fit. That's awesome. That answered so many questions about can this be used for our dogs? My kids are keto. Your dogs are keto. They're all well behaved. Uh, and, and I'll say this: my, you know, my kids I'm, chase I'm, bones, well, yeah. tennis balls. Yeah. Um, so, so for me too, I had, I've had, I had somebody ask just in one of the last seminars we were doing. Um, they said, "Well, I don't know if I'm going to follow a whole on." ketogenic diet long term, but they said, I'd love to do the 30 day. But after that, would I keep taking ketogenic supplements or keto supplements? And my answer for them was, you absolutely can. Like I do a lot of our, our keto products, like our keto, I, I always talk about the keto maple because I love it. But uh, do you want to get into that? And then Yeah, we will. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so anyway, so, you know, um, I take the keto protein on a regular basis myself, even though right now I'm not in a keto diet. But I Wait, still that take chocolate it for cake the you had for lunch wasn't keto, really? Well, the lunch was. Oh, except for the apple the, crisp and yeah, at the farm, farmer's organic table. carrot cake. And, anyway, <laughs> so folks, I, I'm noticing that all of you not only will have access to the online program, but you've got a copy of our brand new Keto 360 book. Here's what's great: if you've heard of a keto diet, they usually involve counting calories, carbs, proteins, fats. We don't count anything here. We give you basic, simple instructions that anyone can follow. I challenge everybody to do it for 30 days. And here's the best news. The first three days are feast days. You know why? Because everyone has built-in excuses to go not go on a diet. Well, I've got this. I just went shopping, you see, and I've got this fridge and this pantry. I'm going to start Monday. Well, I, I mean the first of the month. Wait, wait. I mean January 1st. Folks, this is really not a diet. It's a lifestyle that almost every overworked, overstressed, overfat American can benefit from. And that includes people from all walks of life. We know that childhood obesity is massive. We know that so many of us just don't feel great. A Keto 360 program is healthy for the thyroid and the adrenals, and it is a way to really transform the health of men and women alike. And as Dr. Axe alluded to, we created the first ever comprehensive line of keto products. Now, Keto 360 will work just with the foods, but we created simple opportunities for you to have your keto moment or keto hour, whether you're on keto or not. So the keto products are great for paleo, low carb, they're great for keto, or they're great for anybody who just wants products that work. 
So we have Keto Fire. This is our brain boosting fat burning energizing formulas. One has organic caffeine from coffee cherry. Coffee is actually a seed. There's a fruit around it. And we derive powerful benefits from that. Keto Fire comes in caffeine free and our regular formula. And it is awesome. Really does not feel stimulating. And it's got powerful fermented herbs, energizing MCTs, and something called ketones. Not only do we help you get into ketosis, you actually get supplemental ketones in Keto Fire, and it's great as a thermogenic. Keto Protein, this is the most amazing protein on the planet because it has a unique ingredient called bone broth oil. The fat that floats to the top of bone broth happens to be biocompatible with our skin and our organs. We harnessed it to make delicious tasting proteins powered by bone broth. We've got coffee, chocolate, banana cream, turmeric, which is sugar and carb free, vanilla, and Dr. Axe's favorite, caffeine free maple. Tell them how you use it. So, um, one, we just do it in a smoothie, a little bit of almond milk. Uh, actually, I'll do the, just that uh, and maple, and it tastes really good. But also, we'll make pancakes with this with coconut flour, almond flour, eggs, and the keto maple. And the pancake, they're keto pancakes that taste absolutely awesome. But again, it's just a great ingredient to add to um, a smoothie, pancakes, waffles, and that type of thing. Yeah. It's very creamy, great to add to coffee whether it's hot or cold. Our coffee, if you put it in almond milk or coconut milk, tastes like cold brew. It's truly, truly amazing. For a complete keto meal, we have Keto Feast. Chocolate, vanilla, and maple, caffeine-free. Again, awesome. Got loads of vitamins and minerals. Very satisfying. A source of fat and fiber from chia. And we have foundational formulas. Keto broth is the first Keto optimized bone broth. So you've got the whole broth, including the oil, tastes delicious and creamy, the ultimate pre-workout. Keto collagen, the first collagen MCT combo, and keto fiber. When you're on a lower carb diet, sometimes your motility slows down and you might feel constipated occasionally. Keto fiber is a real food fiber blend that I take every day, truly amazing. And keto foundation. We have a multiple vitamin for the low carb paleo or keto dieter giving you what you're missing when you consume less carbs. Keto Biome, the keto adapted probiotic. Keto Digest helps you digest fats and proteins. And Keto pH, the ultimate alkalizing source of minerals. I take these products every day and I'm so protective of them. Before Dr. Axe came to be a guest at my house, I said you're welcome to eat anything you want but bring your own supplements. I only counted enough for my short three weeks here. I'm a very generous guy. Yeah, 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 Lego, I, Lego my ego, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I didn't get a, uh, oh, hey, I was expecting like, you know, just a sort of a, just a, just a pre-welcome call. Like, man, Josh, I'm just really excited to see you tomorrow and excited and it was, uh, make sure to bring your own bone broth and supplements. But, <laughs> but, but, but you've you been a gracious host. Them. You've been a gracious host, so. Yes. Yeah. So folks, Here's a recap, okay, because I know you're probably a little overwhelmed and trying to wonder if you have an umbrella. Um, here's a quick recap. I'm going to go in reverse order. If you want to transform your metabolism, your brain, and your energy levels, try the Keto 360 program. You've got the book in your lap. You've got a free online access to a community of people, and everyone here has 30 days. Give it a try. You will be so glad if you deal with blood sugar fluctuations, if you are sometimes forgetful, if you just feel like you wake up in the morning tired and go to sleep more so. Keto 360 is amazing. And if you're not even willing to change your diet, get a taste of keto anytime, any place with one of our amazing keto products. Great. Rapid fire. Yeah, so, so we talked about a lot of stuff today. And I want to say this. You know, I know for a lot of you in the room, you guys are veterans. You are really advanced in your nutrition. So you probably already know these are the products I'm going to start taking. These are the diet changes you might start making. But I want to say this. If you're sort of in the room, and this is – we talked about a lot. And you may say to yourself, man, you know, I want to make some changes. I don't know where to start. Here's what I encourage you to do. 
just change your breakfast, all right? I'll just say this. If you are just going to do one thing tonight, I'd encourage you to start making a bone broth smoothie every morning for breakfast. Some almond milk, some fruit, and some bone broth protein or keto protein or one of the powders. If you just change your breakfast, you're changing 33% of your diet. That's going to be big for you and your body. And maybe that's for you, your whole family, for your kids as well. And then also, again, I know a lot of you guys took notes tonight. We did talk a lot about, about a lot of things. But again, the thing that we've heard over and over when people have taken these, our bone broth product, our keto, and our ancient apothecary supplements, they've said so often that I've taken other things before. I didn't notice a difference. I took this, and I noticed a tremendous difference in my body. So we're just, I'm really excited for you guys to use them. I'd love to hear from you as well. And once you guys do take some of these products, whether you do our bone broth and collagen loading program, doing three servings a day for a month, or keto, or just take one of our herbs or essential oils, hey, get on Instagram, get on Facebook, just like Dr. Josh Axe, one of my pages, and just say, hey, Dr. Axe, I saw you here, I did this, and I noticed this change. You know, you guys would probably be surprised at how often I'm on Instagram and on Facebook and kind of seeing what everybody's saying. So again, um, you know, I appreciate Nutrition Smart having us out. Um, and I appreciate you guys coming out in the weather and rain and everything. I'll let Jordan uh, wrap it up. Yes, and if any of you want copies, written copies of the jokes that you've heard me discuss, <laughs> visit Jordan is really funny and handsome. Hashtag handsome. Uh, I think. I'm not really on social media, but I, that probably is my account. Folks, here's what I want to say. I know that all of you had a $5 surcharge to come here that serves as your store credit. There are also one night only coupons and even though our products are very price protected, Nutrition Smart is offering one night only pricing on bone broth protein, a great discount on, I don't know how to use this apparently, great discount on all these amazing products from multi-collagen protein to our oils, get a whole set, our herbs, our mushrooms, our keto products, Everything that you've heard about, and we're so excited because all of these amazing products came to be in the last two years, and I make a joke. I run out of alimentary canal space to take all the good products we have. I set out supplements for all my family the night before, and I literally get very excited when they consume these amazing products because they are separating themselves from the pack. So tonight only, you'll have an opportunity to try our amazing products as we mentioned, give bone broth protein three times a day a try for three weeks. Go on Keto 360, use essential oils, grab one of our great books. You're already getting, uh, it looks like two of their books, Bone Broth Breakthroughs there too, which is an amazing book with over 50 recipes. Man, they're giving them the whole story here. But look folks, if you're like us, hearing information is great, applying it is the difference between coming to another seminar, and blasting into your greatest health ever. So I want to encourage you, support Nutrition Smart, purchase all the amazing foods and skincare that they have, and take advantage of some of these offers. Subscribe to our online newsletter at dracks.com and make 2018 your healthiest year ever. God bless you. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.